Hey guys, another little project. Um, also for life or speed. So uh, I showed you my H, uh, my H pattern shifter that I created out of uh, straws, an Xbox 360 controller, and um, and a cardboard box essentially. Um, well, now uh, I actually wanted to find out. I actually tore that down because um, it ended up being not very reliable and it broke pretty like uh, the straw is just disconnected from the controller joystick itself so I actually wanted to since I've been getting into drifting um, I wanted to know how to uh, make my own handbrake um, and I didn't really care for it to be on an axis um, since that's not too important with a handbrake um, but um, I was thinking mm, maybe I could do the same with the 360 controller and using that uh, concept but simply making it back and forth but instead I decided to use something else something else popped in my mind and that was using a Wii remote uh, as you can see I have it here attached to the arm of my chair here and uh, besides just took a rubber band whip it around pretty secure it's not gonna slip out of there and basically what I do is I connect it to the computer using this little Bluetooth adapter as you can see right here I am connected these are my headphones that I never use but here I have the Wii Remote connected via Bluetooth and then I'm running this simple program called a smooth board it's a free uh, there's a free version and a licensed version Free version does exactly the same thing. Only you gotta wait like two, uh, like uh, 20 seconds when it starts up until it does it. Um, and basically, it can read the accelerometer data and then uh, execute key presses or mouse presses, whatever you want to do. As you can see, I have all these end gates on right right now. Because it's a little bit. I uh, made the the threshold very very sensitive, so. You can actually, what I actually do is I just have it like this, and I just lean it back like this. So you can see it holds pretty good, the rubber band. I can let it flop like that, but I usually just go like this. And as you can see, when I tilt it back, there you go. Tilt it back, there you go. So I basically use that, and then we go into live for speed here. Um, start up the engine. And basically, what you do is you go into options, controls, and then you set your uh, handbrake to whatever you set it to. So I set it on mouse left. So you can see when I pull it back, it will tell me handbrake is initiated. So here we go. So uh, I'm actually gonna try to drift it a little bit on this uh, autocross setup using the handbrake. I'm using the uh, XRT uh, stock. There's no modifications, no drift tuning or anything. Um, I prefer to use faint shifting, uh, shifting uh, faint drifting, but um, handbrake is also very fun and it's also very useful when you come around to U that you don't have enough speed or you understeer. So here we go. Let me just find a good spot for my camera. Oh, that's not a good spot. Uh, let me speaker out a little bit and then how am I gonna tilt the frickin' camera? Come on. Uh, this little button right here maybe. DIY camera for the win. Ooh, don't slide off. Here you go, now you can see. So let me just start the car up here. Let me find my pedals. So let me just here, watch. There you go, that was handbrake. You can see it right here. You can see it right there. So as you can see, it's not an axis, but it's a button, but it should work just, just fine. Alright, that was way too much. I slid out on the grass. Let's see here. Not sure what happened there. Might have been some lag, but here 
I'll show you what is especially useful for. You can see there's this U coming up right here. There you go. I wouldn't have been able to do that without the handbrake. So I prefer, uh, I prefer to actually. Well, <laughs> it's kind of tough making sure my camera doesn't fall and everything, but. I prefer to faint uh, to drift here. I'll show you this. Okay, that was dumb because my steering wheel screwed up. As you can, as you can probably tell, the steering wheel sucks. So I still have a lot to learn, um, I'm, I've been drifting for maybe like two days now. Um, but yeah, it's very useful for a lot of things, and it's really easy because, I mean, literally, all I have to do is just pull on this little thing, and... I spin out, yay! And I mean, this is like the most DIY ghetto, like simple, fast fix that you can use. I can disconnect this in like one second. Um, I don't even have a housing for it. It's just doing this. It's just doing this. So, thought I might share that with you guys. I thought it'd be interesting. And yeah, there you go. Another LFS ghetto mod. Mm.